<sighs> they had a good run. It's time to put them to rest. <laughs> they will not be missed. Boys, the fashion trends that I'm going to talk about today, they've been played out. They're done. They're dead for look. They probably started early 2010s. It's been a decade. It's time we put them to rest. The six fashion trends that I'm going to talk about today no longer make you look good. At least in my opinion, of course, so don't feel any type of way. Yo, shoot, I was wearing some of these like a month ago. So again, take it for a grain of salt. Let's hop into it. Number one, tight jeans. And I'm talking your skinny or slim cuts at this point. You heard me. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I see another Chelsea boot flannel skinny jean combo, I might just lose it. And look, I, I, I take full on responsibility for what has happened because I pumped up this style so much. But now it, it, it's been worn to the point of tackiness and it took a lot of self-reflection to admit that. But once you start seeing everybody and their mother use this as their go-to outfit, you know it's been overplayed. Honestly, truthfully, boys, I'm lo lo loving the dad jean trend right now. Plus my thick quads also appreciate it. I no longer have to be printing all the dang time. So yes, the classic cut, it, it's been in for a few years and I think it's a way better option than your skinny or slim cut. But two, overpriced sneakers. Like bro, who st is still paying 500 to $1,000 for sneakers that, look, I am in the supply chain business. I, I know almost any factory you can think of for almost any mail product you can think of. And I'm telling you, even the high-end designer factories, it does not cost more than 40 to maybe 50 bucks to design a good pair of sneakers. And I'm talking top-notch quality with the best materials in the world. This is why I, I, I really, it's hard for me to justify paying this much amount of money. And when I see people paying for it, I'm like, yo, you're losing out on money. This is why I always recommend our sponsor Thursday. See, Thursday boots, as you might know them, these guys kill it when, it when it comes to their boots. High quality handmade boots that just look good. They're timeless. Well, they don't just make boots. See, they also have dress shoes and more importantly, they have sneakers. And what they basically did is they put all the same craftsmanship, all the same processes that they do with their high quality boots into their sneakers. Now you have sneakers that cost around a hundred bucks, but they're handmade quality. They have an Italian Vincetta insole leather, which is comfortable and molds to your foot. Well, recently I picked up this brown suede model, which looks ultra premium. Most people, most, most of the times that I get compliments on this model because it looks like a luxury or a high end pair of sneakers, but it's only around a hundred bucks. And the cool part is that the suede itself is treated with the weather safe technology. So when you're out and about, it doesn't matter if it's raining or pouring or whatever, or even snowing when we fall into winter, these shoes will be protected. So now you, you can buy sneakers that won't break the bank, that look premium, and you can wear them year round. And if that wasn't enough, they make it crazy affordable. They even have this sizzle program where you can apply if you go to their site and you can even break it up into four small payments of around 30 bucks. So like it is insanely affordable. And if you don't have a quality pair of sneakers, look no further. You guys need to go to Thursday. Your first sneaker should be a simple white. This is a staple. This is the sneaker that you're going to wear like a hundred times out of the year. But after that, if you already have your simple white, I'd recommend picking up the pebble color. This is the color that I just recently picked up. It just looks ultra premium and anything you throw it on, it almost like elevates the luxness of the fit. And, it, and, it, and, it, and more importantly, it's a color that not everybody has. So it's a great way to stand out. If you guys want to check out our sponsor Thursday and their sneakers, click that link down below. Number three, painted nails. Look, it's just not my cup of tea. Like I said, everything's opinion. If that's what you want to do, it's all you. For me, it has nothing to do with fragile masculinity and everything to do with messaging. See, the interesting part in what you and what I've always preached is that clothing sends messages. Every single piece that you throw on, whether you like it or not, people judge and read like a book. I like to use clothing and send strategic messages of being high status, of being more attractive, of, be, of looking more fit or more muscular. Those are the messages that I'm trying to send. And whether you like it or not, Nail polish sends a more feminine message to anybody seeing it. So yes, if you're trying to impress a girl, if that's your goal, chances are painted nails is not going to be your best move because the first thing the girl's going to think, hmm, he's probably going to be using my nail polish. Do you really think the next thought out of her brain is going to be, let me, give it, let, let me give him my number? Of course not. Number four, the man purse. Look, I love men bags. The cross body bag, the satchel. For the duffel bag, the backpack. I like man bags. But the purse, 
I can't get past this one. This one's hard. This one's hard to pull off. And honestly, like I've seen dudes legit wear, at this point, they're female purses. They're not even actually a man purse. It's just a female purse that they decided to take on and carry as a bag. I think that there's just so many, I think that there's so much better options for men like the briefcase. Yo, the briefcase looks so sick. Or the duffel bag, or even a cross body bag, depending on what category, that you, whether you want casual or dressy. There's so many better alternatives for men that the male purse, or even the female purse on a man, it's just a no-go trend for me. Number five, again, I'm a victim of this one. The man ankle. I said it, I said it, I know. I, I, I'm gonna take responsibility for this one too because I pumped the hell out of this. But I just cannot remember the last time my girl said, look at those sexy ankles. My God, take my panties off. Girls just don't say that. Matter of fact, every girl I've asked, Loki hates that. I did not like the high water pants. And this is why I've been loving my socks lately. Honestly, looking back at some of my pictures, I cringe a little. Like, why are you showing so much ankle? Look, the no sock look, has its time and place for summer, especially if you want more of a cooler vibe to it. But when you do it, make sure that you're not exposing your entire ankle and that your pants are tailored properly. A good rule of thumb that I like to do, or, or that my tailor does perfectly, is you want your pants to end, and end right in the middle line of your ankle. If it sits there, you're gonna expose just the right amount of foot without it being, without it looking like you're wearing high water. Finally, number six, wearing anything fake. Designer, jewelry, watches. You see, what you don't understand and you, you would understand if you ever own a business is that most of these brands have worked for years, for decades to build up what now everybody is trying to fake. You buying a fake undercuts all those years worth of work that they've put their blood, sweat, and tears into and gives the money to scammers that are scamming those brands by creating fake products. Not to mention that name, brand, anything, doesn't matter. If you're an OG from the channel, you already know, name brands don't really matter at all. And this is exactly why I always preach essentials, like basics that, that have no logos, like no prints or anything. What you should worry about is the quality of the clothes, the fit of the clothes, how it, how it looks on your skin tone pattern. The branding doesn't really matter. And when you buy fakes that aren't real to impress peop other people, you're impressing them with stuff that you don't actually even own. If people ever found out, it would just deter their image that they have of you. So buying fakes, it's a trend that has to go. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Thursday Boots. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.